<laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what do you mean, cursed? What do you mean, cursed? Daisy, you need to change your Streamlabs thingy? Oh, shit, I do need to change my Streamlabs thingy. I also didn't get my sticky note out to write notes down about the stream. Let me get that. I do need to change my Streamlabs. There we go. Update Streamlabs. We are already starting out. At least I fixed the damn audio today. You heard the click? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unfortunately my mic is not absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, hello everyone. I see we're already getting chaos started. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I have so much stuff to do already. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's put this prop on and then I'll go through and welcome everyone. Bam. Oh god, I need to adjust that. Put that in the front. Oh god, we're in the bone zone already? Oh good lord. Oh good lord. <laughs> we're already starting off with madness. Hello everyone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, good lord. Hydra is indeed now a thousand points. Let me go through this. Let me go through chat. Um, hello, hello. Welcome, Bug House. Welcome, Sadie. Welcome, Kieran. And congrats on the first redeem. Welcome, welcome, Signum. It's good to have you. And of course, again, welcome to the Discord server. Hello, hello, Sylveon. And a welcome to Grimo. Oh, God. Okay, food is here. Uh, okay, Kieran's gonna be uh, lurking. Have a good lurk! It's been a warm welcome! Yay! That is very good to hear. I never checked off that I did the skull mask toggle. And also, this music is now too loud in my ear holes. Turn it down so it's not too loud in my goddamn ear holes. <laughs> Okie dokie then. So welcome everyone to your... <laughs> Local creative demons stream of art where I also get terrorized by chat because that's just a regular occurrence now <laughs> So yeah uh, Today I'm going to be working on patreon commissions. I'm actually specifically going to be working on stuff for uh, Sadie and bug house uh, They like merge their patreon commission together since like since Bughouse never redeems his. <laughs> and I know they know each other, so it's like, I'm like, okay, whatever. You're not just like using someone else's redeem for no goddamn reason. Yeah, he's a menace. Yeah, he's a menace like that, being kind and supportive. Gosh dang it, Bughouse, how dare you? <laughs> um, so before we dive into things, let me go over some, uh, looks like there's a 95% chance I, I will not use it unless Sadie uses it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, so announcements and stuff. Uh, we just hit 125 followers last Thursday. So, next Thursday's stream, uh, that is this upcoming Thursday. The, oh god, what the frick date will it be? The 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time will be the Spooky Game stream! So yeah, I have two indie titles in mind that I'm gonna play. I have tested both of them, so they should work. I also enjoy giving money freely to people I enjoy with nothing expected back. Ah! Bug house! Bug house, how dare you enjoy just literally just being generous? What the hell is wrong with you? I'd say this very jokingly. I may, neglect to, I may neglect to redeem mine, but I enjoy behind the scenes and such. That's fair. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, eh, I mean, people redeem them or they won't. I like getting to do the art anyway. Bughouse best person confirmed. Yeah, Bughouse best cur person confirmed. I'm I'm going to do it again because uh, Bughouse is also starting out streaming stuff. I am unstoppable. Go, go support Bug House <laughs> if you're not. <laughs> um, so yeah, and speaking of other announcements, 
Our next goal, as you can see by the lovely little, little, oh god, oh god, my my hand thingy is mirrored. By the lovely little uh, meter over there, our next goal is uh, 150 followers, at which point we will do a serial tier list stream, which is mostly because Zadie and Bughouse suggested it. <laughs> Hell yeah, Bughouse has been followed. I'm so sorry if you can hear dogs. The dogs are very angry because people are delivering things. <laughs> this is just how it goes. God, there's even thunking upstairs. Good lord. Also, holy crap, this song is so distracting. I cannot listen to that song. Dog stream when? Never. Never dog stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I promise you, they're not pretty dogs. At all. <laughs> Carlos is pretty, he's just grumpy. And pretty is like the ugliest dog on the planet. The cereal tier list will be like, what uh, are Americans eating? <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I'll try to rate cereals I've never had, but you know, whatever. Dogs are dogs and we love dogs. Oh, it's bat wings time. Hell yeah. I actually really like the bat wings. I'm very happy with how they came out. I made my own Halloween props this year instead of just using like Ones that uh, Cal made. I'm trying to make more of my props myself. <laughs> Send a Daisy International Cereal. I unfortunately don't have a post box anymore. Um, so that probably would not be possible. I mean, my Patreon folks who um, have supported or have gotten like physical merch from me before have my old address. But unfortunately, that's my old address. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay. There we go. The bat wings are now equipped. All right. So, in that case, it is now time to hop into art. Behold, it's art time, baby. I've done literally nothing. Forbidden European cereal. What are the forbidden European cereals? Um, I have to know. What are they? Okay. Okay, good. My stylus works. Thank God. I was worried that since I didn't test it before stream, it was going to just decide not to work. <laughs> it, is, it is Lancelot. I'm drawing, uh, Sadie actually gave me a sketch, uh, basically, of their character Kiva and Lancelot, kind of in like the, um, the Howl's Moving Castle, like floaty thing. I actually went and I grabbed the screenshot of that so that I can have it handy dandy. Um, okay, so first stop is drop the models down. Uh, so we need, gosh dang body shapes. Oh no, it's so cute. It is so cute. Oh my God, my face tracking just closed itself because I triggered my uh, voice assistant on my phone. No! <laughs> okay, it's back. Oh my God. Ah, turn off the camera picture. I don't want to see my face. <laughs> It's only so funny because I realized it was only after I sketched that <laughs> you realize it was the same scene. Yeah, I mean, it's a good freaking scene. Fun fact. I actually haven't uh, watched Howl's Moving Castle in a little while. I should watch it again. Hey, oh god! There's narrated ending to that song. <laughs> this is the price I pay for streaming freaking um, music off of YouTube. Lancelot, the big older brother who gets bonked every other day for crimes. <laughs> oh no, what crimes does he even commit? Okay, I'm gonna look at Lancelot, uh, but also I can just ask you since you're here, Sadie, is Lancelot like an athletic lean build or is he like, or is he muscles? It's hard to tell with all that bulk uh, that it looks like he's an athletic lean, but I'm just, I'm just checking. I could, I could make him muscles. <laughs> All athletic lean, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. I won't go totally freaking ape shit then. Um, do do do. Zoom this out. Do your drawing figure, and then just just make a massive. He big. He's allowed a little crime. Why is Lancelot allowed a little crime? <laughs> Why is Lancelot allowed a little bit of crime? What has he done to earn this? What if I just make him fucking huge? We could just make him absolutely fucking huge. Crime is why he's an Adalon. 
<laughs> at all. He's stylish. Stylish people can commit crime. Everyone would be allowed to do a little crime. Should. <laughs> He's like 15 foot tall and Kiva is like 6 foot. Okay. Okay. I know Sadie said the heights didn't have to be exact, but it's just easier for me. 15 foot 2. I forget if Clip Studio is in centimeters. 457.2 centimeters. Okay. 47. No, let me type it in. He held hands with the Summer Queen, the worst crime he can commit. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, what? He's so hecking huge. Yeah, it sounds like it. Okay, that's the max height I can make him according to this. Well, as long as... Because, like, six foot is, like, half of, um... It's, like, half of 15, right? Don't, don't judge me. Uh... Don't... Judge me. Oh, it's under half. Okay, so as long as it... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, by the way, Daisy, Spirit Away will be in local theaters October 30th, November 1st, and 2nd here. Yo! That's pretty cool, actually. I know it's, like... It's probably a part of, like, yearly Ghibli Fest. I can send you the size models I use if you want. I'm not worried about it. 15 foot is 1.5 taller than 6 foot. Look at you, Karen, knowing how to do math. <laughs> Oh god, so, just out of curiosity, is there any character y'all are particularly excited to get drawn for the Satan? I might have, uh, seen the drawing for at least, for one of you at least. Um, I barely remember who I put in for the Satan, which I feel so bad for. <laughs> it has to be a tiefling. So, um... I'm always hesitant to put Ishiyama in things because people tend to not draw him as wide as he's supposed to be because he has a sumo wrestler body. Um, It'd be great to see Art of Hanzo. I don't remember- I don't remember what characters I submitted for the Secret Satan! <laughs> I have a terrible memory, I'm sorry. Oh no. I'm so sorry, I don't even remember. TBH, I'll be equally thrilled for literally any of mine. They're all main blurbos. That's fair. Copy pasted from the sheet. Warden, Draper, uh, Satoru, Ace, Tanara, Ishiyama. Okay, okay, I forgot. It wasn't just the other ones. Um, I'm always excited to see Draper, especially because uh, Spy is running another campaign in Valoran again. I'm not playing in it, but, you know, Draper exists there. Warden always makes me happy. Warden's my eternal Blorbo. Ace always makes me happy. Yeah, these are all- I will be happy for all of my Blorbos. Because I love all of them so much. I'm really hoping my girl Glory got drawn because I'm playing her in a campaign and I currently love her. Yes! Oh my goodness, next time I get, like, free time I want to animate Glory falling. Though I'm honestly happy to get any art of my characters. Yeah! And I have no poses for dancing together? What? That's wild. People being excited for any blurb is the best. Yeah! Yeah! I think, like, the things that make me, s like, the most excited is when somebody's drawing, like, shows that they read the character's information. Like, I know some of my characters, it's a little poorly organized, so whatever. <laughs> um, but anything that shows that they read the character's lore tends to, like, make me especially happy. Ah, yes, Glory. Isn't Glory the one who's clumsy? Uncanonically, from the one shot. Yeah, Glory is great, though. I love her so much. Give me the poses. Where are the dancing poses? I have dancing poses saved. Yeah, there we go. I think this will be a good one. And then I have, like, idle poses that are, like super energetic that I'll just toss in there. I think those were work. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Star Dragon! Welcome, welcome! Feel free to introduce yourself, say hi. Uh, I've heard many good things about you from Sadie and Kalmak. So yeah! Uh, Glory is now canonically uh, clumsy. Excellent. I've already come up with a PC concept for the campaign. Can't wait for you guys to meet her. Oh, are you are you going to play the character you were talking about on voice chat, Kalmak? Because I love that character so much. 
Uh, Sig, I feel so so bad in the draw the OC above. I read Albion's whole information, then it ended up drawing Nisha because time ate me. Oh no! Oh no! Hello, Star Dragon! Hi, it's friend I recognize! Yeah, welcome, welcome! It's the nerd gang! Yeah! <laughs> oh, all of those dragon emotes are so cool. I've actually popped into Star Dragon streams a couple times. I love that your model is, like, actually a dragon and everything. And, um, oh my goodness, I love that, like, you have the hand over your canvas, and that's also Dragon Claws! Ah, it's so cool! <laughs> Sadie and Dakote. <laughs> I love that. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, where the hell did these poses go? I'm feeling lazy, so I'm just, I'm just slapping poses in here first. I think... This will be energetic enough, and then I'll just flip the pose. And then I'll just go look at the reference, and <laughs> you're now known as Dakot. Yeah, I'm gonna- Dakot? Dakot could actually make a good name for a D&D character. I would like that. That would be pretty good. Let me go and put this in here. Alright, see, now we'll just work this out. We're, we're reasonably close for the pose now. And that works. <laughs> you came at a great time, Star Dragon. They're drawing Kiva. Yeah! Uh, this is basically... Sadie gave me a little sketch. Um, so this is what I'm working on. Oh my god, there was a thunk upstairs. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh my goodness, Golden Girl! Welcome, welcome! It's so good to have you. <laughs> Can't wait for you to meet the demon known as Dakote. Oh my god, chat's going so fast. Oh my gosh, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome, hi. Wah! Screaming. Screaming forever. Because I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> everyone is emerging from, their sh from the shadows for the stream. I know, I'm like, who is everyone? This is so good to see people, though. It's good to see you all and to vibe with you. Ah! I haven't even played Kiva yet, and she consumes my brain so much, I'm terrified for my life. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, let's go like this. Oh god, it's Bone Zone also? Oh god, Chad is inflicting chaos now. It's chaos infliction time. This is what we're doing, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Here is the stretch for Sylveon, and thank you for the reminder to save uh, Bughouse, because I haven't- I've just been working on an illustration. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, all those redeems came through at once. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh... Keep a lot. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh no, Star Dragon has discovered the redeems. I'm doomed. <laughs> redeems out, out the arse. <laughs> Although, okay, I did, um, learn- I did do something fun and new. Sorry, I was getting a sip of tea. Um, oh my goodness, we got so much pride! Oh yeah, happy, uh, coming out day, everyone. That is cool as heck. Also, happy, uh, coming out day to everyone who is staying in the closet for their own personal safety and preferences. This is me poking through here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I still exist. <laughs> oh my god, the whole damn stream is covered. <laughs> Oh my god. Thanks for coming out to this art stream, everyone. <laughs> I have indeed been eaten by the hearts. This is just how it goes. Put this here. It might actually be better to make this piece vertical. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm gonna end up making this piece vertical. Okay. Let's... Put this over here, and then I have to go to class now. Have a great rest of stream. Come, I'll try to come back uh, for the end if we get out early. 
Of course, of course. Have a great class. Um, yeah, study hard, make some cool art. <laughs> oh my goodness. All of the pride stickers came back through on chat. Oh my god. It just does that sometimes. I don't know why it likes to do that. It just does. Ah, man. I, I enjoy getting to listen to spooky Halloween music on stream. It's so good. Stream Stickers wants to cause its own chaos as a treat. It does! Stream Stickers is also a master of absolute chaos. Oh my goodness. So I guess I'll ask. I'll ask because I titled the stream after it and we we're having a discussion in Discord. I think olives are terrible. You can defend olives if you want, I guess. But olives, not good. Uh, they're too salty. Uh, they have a terrible texture. And I don't like them. <laughs> oh my goodness, Scarlet! Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Sadie! Ah! Friendship cancelled? Hate olives on pizza? Pizza? I guess. More olive for me? Oh my goodness, am I actually surrounded by people who like olives on pizza? What the hell? Great texture? Actually, no. They're like, mushy but gritty. It's like, it's like I'm eating, like, slightly gritty dirt. <laughs> Thank you, Star Dragon, for having the correct opinion. No. No one may have the correct opinion. Uh, if anybody's out here defending olives, doomed to you. Doomed to you forever. Okay. Uh, what is a good hold pose? No, I don't want to change that. I want to change this hand pose. <laughs> Olives are bad except for a very specific one that I don't like or remember the name of at the moment. If I hated olives, I'd get exiled from Spain. <laughs> I once made my own olives now and all other olives are ruined. Uh, see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just think they're a gross texture. And I especially, the thing that weirds me out the most about olives is the aftertaste mostly. I just think the aftertaste is terrible. I just, ugh. They're gross. They're gross. I don't like the aftertaste. Kieran, I see those dot dot dots. Are you terrified of them different opinions? Them different opinions from your own? <laughs> I like popping an olive in my mouth and savoring it for five minutes. What is wrong with you, Sigdom? That sounds like actual torture. I would rather be waterboarded. <laughs> what if I said your opinion is gross? Well? Then my opinion is gross to you, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll die. <laughs> that sounds like heaven. Fuck yes. What kind of olives do you have there? Black ones only? Uh, we have black and we have green olives. Honestly, I avoid them so much that I don't specifically remember what the hell they taste like that much. I just remember, uh, they suck. Don't say guess I'll die. Well, you said my opinion was gross and there's not I can do about it. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. OMG, all the blinking lights, lol. At least you guys can't, re like, the redeems can't come through fast enough to cause, like, epilepsy or whatever. Oh my goodness. Also, I suppose, uh, now before, uh, Thursday rolls around, for the Thursday stream, since we're gonna be playing a gross, uh, or since we're gonna be playing a spooky game, I am going to give a general grossness and meat warning. <laughs> Insert kitty malady modes here. Yeah, we have the freaking uh, Daisy with a sword. I haven't put uh, Daisy with a gun emotes on Twitch because I just don't want to get TOS. Because <laughs> I did just draw like an actual uh, freaking pistol. <laughs> I just think they're funny though. <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite like meme formats is like the delete this gun. It's very good. Okay. You know what? I give up trying to pose this damn hand. There we go! No! That's not what I wanted! I'm just trying to pose the hand. 
<laughs> Daisy with a Glock. I'll just spam him in private. Uh, DM, no worries. <laughs> I got a uh, KV. I got a KV. Got a gun on Twitch. I think. Fair enough. Um, I just don't want to risk it. Plus, I already have like Daisy with a sword for raids. So I'm like, okay, okay, that's that's viable. <laughs> Character with gun is a good meme. It is a good meme. I give. I gave one of my players a gun last session. <laughs> um, I just think that the innocent bard bees deserves a gun. Swords are nature's gun. I want to give more of my characters a gun. Maybe my smoky boy deserves one. They absolutely deserve a gun. You should give, uh, I think Uri already has a gun. Never mind. Uri already has a gun. I'm a fool. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, uh, that is clipping through the hand. It's fine. It's fine. That's completely and totally fine. I just want to include the freaking fingers poking up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, let me be clear. Olives are a yummy, salty bite. Plus, you haven't lived till you've had a Ritz cracker with a piece of sharp ch cheddar, a salami or pepperoni, and a single olive. See, that sounds delicious, except for the olive. Can't wait for Nisha with a gun to be canon. Yeah, Bughouse, when is Nisha with a gun going to be canon? Um, I'm just saying. Also, sorry, I'm having some fruit snacks. <laughs> fruit snacks for me as a small treat. <laughs> Olive's still not tasty. I keep forgetting Uri canonically does canonically use gun as a weapon. <laughs> How do you forget? Uri is one of your Blorbos. <laughs> Why would Nisha want a gun? Nisha deserves to shoot glitter everywhere. That's why. <laughs> Cyberpunk setting perks. I did it. He would want it if it shot glitter. Yeah. Nisha deserves a gun. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> Nisha wants a gun to shoot the people who write fiction. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Kieran does indeed have a gun. Everyone watch out. Kieran has got a gun. And he's one of the least responsible people I know. <laughs> Ari's gun is actually modified to be non-lethal. One of the bullets is a glitter bullet that blinds! I want... I want to see Uri showing, like, the glitter bullet to Nisha. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> now I just need to make the other floatiness of this pose happen. <laughs> Bring this back here. I don't want it to be like Lance is doing a big old weird like step. What is going on here? Okay, stretch this out. And then we'll go... Like this. I'm just gonna lift the pose a little bit from the sketch. Just a wee bit. Because I'm like, what pose would look good? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Fiona's days are numbered once Nisha gets a gun. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. There we go. Okay, this feels like a good... This feels like a good heckin' pose. I like this. I like this pose. It's very good. Okay, and then just angle this back up a little bit. Attack with gun. My Star Wars uh, character just got the weapon finesse feet for his lightsaber and can now use uh, dex instead of strength. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, that saved him from his current fate. <laughs> Hell yeah! Freaking... Weapon finesse is such a good feat. I love weapon finesse. Specifically, like, Pathfinder 1E... I would just, like, my favorite build is probably a Dex Magus with a Rapier. Oh my god. Oh god, it's so good! Because Rapiers also have a wide crit range. Where did my stylus go? There did my stylus go! I've been adjusting the freaking posing for so long that I put my stylus down and I forgot where it went. Alrighty then. Let's go get Kiva. Do you want Kiva to wear her robe? Because I wouldn't mind doing drawing her robe. It would be really fun. 
Uh, okay, I will now tear the chat apart. What is the best TTRPG system? Uh, Pathfinder 1E, my beloved. Fiona has a rapier that crits from 15. Yes, increased crit range. So he was a Dex Magus with deal dual wielding Wakizashis. That sounds so cool. Okay. I love Pathfinder 1E, but it's too fucking complicated. Um, so Pathfinder 1E, my Blorbo. But, but I will consider, um, freaking... Oh my god. I will consider Pathfinder 2E as potential new Blorbo. Uh, okay, ooh, if you wanna. I wasn't sure what happened with the robe there. Um, but I do, I do freaking like, um, I like Pathfinder 1E a lot. 5e just has too much RNG for me. But Sig, since you started this discussion, what is your best tabletop RPG? <laughs> I'm surprised to see Pathfinder 1e love. Yeah, this is a Pathfinder 1e stream here. <laughs> I actually initially, uh, like, started talking to Sadie because they mentioned, uh, they play freaking Pathfinder. And I was like, <gasps> Pathfinder player on the internet. <laughs> Pathfinder is so complicated. I like playing with my current group, but I shall not play it as others. Yeah! Yeah! I learned on Pathfinder, and I was just like, holy crap, other people play Pathfinder. Uh, it's cheaper. Uh, Paizo is generally better about being inclusive the first time and doing it correctly, unlike Wizards of the Coast. Um, freaking, yeah. And it's cheaper, and more of the rules are online for free. It's just easier. Uh, I've mostly played 5e, but I'm very fed up with Wizards of the Coast, and Lambeth really wants to switch to Pathfinder 2e. I think I'll end up enjoying it more. Um, heck yeah! I personally learned on 5e, so I have a soft spot for it, plus I can rattle off a bunch of rules on cue. That's fair! I learned on Pathfinder 1e, and I will say, Sig, um... Pathfinder 2e is like a happy medium between Pathfinder 1e and 5e because it simplifies and streamlines a lot of stuff from first edition. Um, but also takes like the best of fifth edition and shoves it in. So yeah, you'll probably like it a whole bunch. Uh, okay. And I think in the sketch they were like doing the, oh my gosh, I'm looking down. Oh my gosh, I'm flying thing. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I actually- I need to get better at being able to rattle off, uh, 2e rules, but also, like, it's really easy to look them up. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I do appreciate Paizo's work a lot more, too. Yeah. Paizo- Paizo, my beloved. Also, here is my final selling point if, uh, Pathfinder is not someone's favorite system. D&D's mascot is a dragon, right? They have a big, dumb, fire-breathing lizard. But have you considered Paizo's mascot is a goblin? <laughs> you could have literally a goblin as the mascot for your tabletop system. It'd be great. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Uh, I'd be willing to do Pathfinder uh, 2e one-shots once I'm more comfortable with it. Yeah, I am I would consider doing uh, more one-shots. I just also am, like, I'm not the best at building one-shots. I, like... I like my long and sprawling adventures way too much. I didn't actually look at uh, what Kiva's eyebrows are shaped like. Shit. Okay. Kiva's eyebrows do in are indeed a teensy bit thicker. Let me make sure I get that. But I want to keep one e for long campaigns. That's fair. That's totally fair. I do. I like one e. I have nostalgia for how like silly high the numbers can get. There we go. Is it okay that I'm drawing Kiva with lashes? I just want to make sure. Uh, all my one shots turn into two or three shots. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, if you're running with a good group, I think that's all right. I've unfortunately only had like a very bad experience with the uh, like one shots that turned into a three shot uh, thing. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> Especially because once I'm done with uh, spell shot, I'm going to do my darndest never to touch Wizards of the Coast. That's fair. One shots are a social construct, and Paizo has been really good uh, for being inclusive from the start. Yes. Yes, absolutely that. I will say, I was also looking at their um, 
which we call it, their job applications for reasons. Uh, they don't have any openings, unfortunately, that I would fit in. But all of their job positions come with benefits. <laughs> yeah, Wizards of the Coast is kind of poop. <laughs> This way, like, I'm happy that the people who are getting into D&D for the first time in uh, the Discord server are getting to play, like, Pathfinder instead. Because I think it's just... 5e is nice, and I know it's, like, the Dungeons and Dragons. But you could just learn on, like, a nicer system. <laughs> um, what are Kiva's ears? Does Kiva have pointy ears? Kiva does have little pointy ears, I think. I definitely like to play 5e a lot, uh, with a lot of my own tweaks. That's fair. If you want to have her hood down so you can still have her floofy hair, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, I was planning on that. I was actually specifically planning on doing that. I don't like to, like, if characters have hoods, I generally only draw them up if the character has a reason to have the hood up. Because it's all about the mood. The mood is more important. 5.5 has been such a shit show. I think every two weeks we spend the first 30 minutes of the session tearing it apart when we get a new playtest. Oh no. Oh goodness. I feel a little bad for it. I know Lancelot is massive, but I'm actually terrified of the fact that Kiva is taller than me. Kiva is taller than me. Holy shit. Holy shit. Kiva is taller than me. That's... Impressive as hell. Oh my god. I hope I got these symbols right. Uh, I think this is also over too far. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, one deed is terrible. What the? Kiva is taller than most people and still among the shorter si size of normal uh, Shide. Yeah, she's almost a full foot taller than I am. Oh my god. Yeah, I am 5'10 in real life. Um, I never actually decided how tall Daisy-san was. I think I'm just gonna be like, whatever, they have no canon height. It's the height that's funny. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I'm. But anyway, where this is going is I didn't realize how tiny 4'8 is and... Damn, you're tall, Daisy? Yeah. You know what's great? Spy is about the same height as me, so we just kind of forget that short people exist sometimes. <laughs> um, because we're both tall. So it just sort of, like, we're just like, no, everything is this height. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not the same height. It's really obvious that we're not the exact same height, but it's, like, so close that it's not even worth, call worth calling. I appreciate that they're trying to make a new system, but I'm not going to implement any 1 D&D stuff into my 5e game because it's just not done. That's fair. Short stack, short stack nation. <laughs> uh, we can reach these people. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's okay to be short. Short people are welcome here. At least I'm not out here uh, bullying people for being left-handed like Cloud was earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it was all like good fun. I was in Cloud's chat earlier. They were like, oh my god, you're left-handed? What the hell? It's just a face. It was it was a good uh, jape. Is th there is a chance I could mage hand my new PC in the new campaign. Yes! Oh my god, I hope you can mage hand it. It's okay to be short until I can't reach the top shelf. <laughs> Height is a choice. <laughs> yeah, if you're short, just get platform boots. My god. What's wrong with you? If you're short, fix it. <laughs> God, I love how floofy Kiva's hair is. It's so delightful. God. Ah. Floofy hair. I'm probably gonna have to do another uh, cleaned up sketch pass on this. Which kind of sucks because I'm doing the style in a sketchy style, but whatever. Uh, have you considered not being short? I wish I could change my height like my shitty characters. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm a full six inches shorter than Daisy. I'm surrounded by tall folks, and I always ask tall persons to help reach things. Uh, yep. I remember being, like, taller than Scarlet when I was, like, super young. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Namely, the inspo on the 20s and the advantage with tool proficiency. God, I desperately hope that your character is able to mage hand themselves 
Five foot four for the win. Also, I'm so sorry, Sigdom, that we're working in US customary. It's so horrible. <laughs> Sig, you're taller than me still. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sadie. I would say Sadie's short, but like Sadie's pretty average height, I think. Unless I'm just a fool that doesn't remember what average height is because I'm so tall and have just been tall my entire life. Sig and I are the same height, though to be fair, tall beans don't find st snacks tucked on the low shelves. Yeah, yeah, that's the bane of my existence is I can't find things. If you put it on the lower shelf, I'm just like, huh? Where is it? It basically doesn't exist. <laughs> Oh god! I just moved the whole damn sketch over. Good lord. Sadie is baby. <laughs> Aww. Sadie is short. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know what counts for, like, short and what counts for, like, average height in, uh, in, like, just in general, because I've just been tall. Both Bughouse and Star Dragon have seen me IRL. They can confirm I'm very short. This is delightful. This is absolutely delightful. Also, I said it last night as, like, a late-night shower thought, but I would be confused if I saw uh, Sadie in real life and I didn't see Nisha. <laughs> Sig! Sig, are you posting links? Or, or just send words that Twitch censors? <laughs> I can put Sadie in my pocket. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Where does... Okay, that dress starts pretty high up. It's a link to average height by country. Ah, okay. Okay, here we go. I will give you 60 seconds to repost. <laughs> you may post a link for 60 seconds. Unless it cancels it out again, at which point I'll actually figure out how to... Why? No! Damn it! I need to fix my link posting. Because I think Nightbot and Streamlabs are fucking it up. I'm going to disable Streamlabs link. Disable Streamlabs link. No! This is why I just tell people to just DM me links. Uh, 5 6 looks like it for us. Permit. Disable uh, Streamlabs permit. There we go. Okay, sorry. It's just leaning way off screen. You can indeed DM me the link. This is This is why I just tell people to DM me the link. I'm daring, I'm, damn you, Slow Joe, DMing me while I'm streaming. <laughs> and here I thought it was Sigdom. All right, let's go. I don't know how actually full this uh dress is, but I'm just going to kind of go apeshit with it, if that's cool. I'm just going to kind of go apeshit with how full this dress is. <laughs> I want this to come up all the way up over here. There we go. <laughs> Make the dress big floop. So you should just get get his butt in here. Yeah. You guys should just go tell Slow Joe to get his butt in here. <laughs> you have he's in the Discord. He should just get in here. Alright, and then we'll just go like this. Behold, how Daisy actually works out how to draw uh, clothing folds. And then they're all emanating out from up there. Uh, and then you'll go here. You go here. Uh, this is more like ruffles. This is too much. We need, we need more, but not so much like ruffles. There we are. There we go. I like this. This is much better. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hell yeah. No, don't move the whole damn sketch again. <laughs> we love it when I just move the whole uh, stretch or the whole sketch. <laughs> How to draw clothing. Draw a wiggle. No, but like actually, like... Because of how I draw, I tend to think through things more like a physics simulation, as weird as that sounds. Um, so, like, it, like if I get the body drawn and then I draw all this other stuff on top, so, like, this I'm like, okay, and then this is, like, this flies out, and then I just kind of connect 
all of the wiggles out to like where the tension or I could connect like where there would be creases up to where uh, the fabric originates from. If that makes any amount of sense, hopefully. <laughs> do, do, do. And we'll just go like this and we'll shove the shoes right here. This doesn't need to be. I do a similar thing. Yeah. like. If I'm doing lighting conditions and you don't, if you give me a reference that is like in funny colors, like a funny lighting situation, you don't give me a flat color reference, I'll just be like, oh god, what colors are the flats? Because like, I shade everything what it is. Like I do flats of what are the local colors, and then I do all my lighting, uh, like with like shading. That's how I like determine what time of day it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. So now we just gotta get Kiva's arms in. Oh, we gotta get the other drapey parts of the cloak. Does it, um... Th so the boots are ankle boot things that flare out a teeny bit. I don't know much uh, in show, but I realized it. Uh, it might affect it. I can just go like that. Yeah, I don't think they'd show a whole lot in this, but I can at least make sure the bottom doesn't uh, crop to it. Other thing that I want to check is the back of the robe like this, or is it like this? Is it a W or is it a V? Because it'll be flying out in the back a little bit. <laughs> Let me get a little sip of tea. Oh my god, it's 146 already? Holy cow. Oh my god, I can't believe it's 146. Uh, I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> Probably two, though. Okay, yeah. I think two is nice, because then it gets to, like, sort of, like, fly out wherever. Um. You're... See, everyone on Patreon is just learning that I like drawing big flowy clothes. <laughs> so they're like, okay, it's time to just give Daisy the big flowy clothes to draw everywhere. Also, the more of Kiva's robe I have um, in front of Lance's wings, the less of Lance's ring wings that I have to draw. Oh god, my control button was being held. There we go. <laughs> Very fair. Yeah, see, this is the strategy. Uh, you don't have to draw Lancelot's wings if you just put fabric in front of everything. Okay, so I want, that would probably go there. And I want the point to end here, so those will go like that, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I like being floofy clothes because I can delete the anatomy. <laughs> That's fair. That is totally fair. Wait, Star Dragon, do you play, oh my goodness, the character with the real big backpack that I just drew for the commission. Uh, the so the uh, Kalmak got. Oh my goodness. I was about to say something spoilery for the Satan regarding clothes being used to hide stuff. <laughs> yeah, Archibald! Yeah! Oh my goodness, I love draw I loved drawing Archibald. They have just such big, like, poofy clothes, and I love it. Okay, time to be slightly insane uh, about the length of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna loop this around. Move this around here. No, I liked the shape of the other one. It just didn't go out far enough. No! Damn it. <laughs> Archibald was good. Rip them. <gasps> Kalmak! Did you... Did you kill Archibald? Did you kill Archibald? <laughs> now they get to hang out with Windown? Archibald has big poof clothes because they... He's not really dead. Stop telling people I'm dead. <laughs> he got better. <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. Oh, fantastic. I love getting to hear about y'all's games. It's so good. He dies like every three to five years. What? What? <laughs> He's chilling with a god now. It's fine. What in the world? I'm just gonna have a bite of freaking granola. But actually though, yeah, what actually happened, Calmac, huh? Don't y'all die every now and then? No. No, I do not. Oh, I have to draw Kiva's arms. 
I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> Archibald has not lived a life longer than 10 years. Does Archibald go around dying on purpose? Like, what? what is going on? <laughs> Fun fact, I got diagnosed with dead IRL once. What? Sig, Sig, I demand lore. I demand Sigdom lore. You have to explain this. Hello, Moon. Volvund? Uh, I think, I think I've heard Cla your nickname be Moon. But hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming to hang out. Uh, we're talking D&D &D and casinos here. Uh, Archibald died a heroic death saving the party. Then he got better. Moon is fine? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Like, I have no problem with the other- with whatever nickname you prefer. Um, I just want to double check and make sure I'm calling people what they like. Uh, so there's this, like, online place where you can check your medical record, and I'm diagnosed as dead in 2020! <laughs> what?! <laughs> have you missed me, Daisy? I have missed you! You're my mod! Of course I missed you! Oh my goodness. He dies a bunch because he's too curious for his own good. Oh no! Oh, poor Archibald. That's terrible. Oh goodness. Alright, let's get these in. I can't believe I like got the 3D model out and was like, time to draw a form line the wrong way, even though I could see it on the dang model. God, Kiva is so tiny. Oh my goodness. Are you working on a commission? Uh, sort of. Sort of. I'm working on a Patreon commission, so it's like, it's a thing that my uh, higher tier patrons just get every few months. Um, so they basically get like priority slots every few months. Uh, and I'm drawing some of Sadie's D&D characters. Archibald is also really good at getting into places they shouldn't. He and Albion would get along. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Albion also, my beloved, but mostly because they're like the first character of like Sadie's that I drew, I think. Yeah, I think Elbion is the first character of Sadie's that I drew. And pays the consequences almost immediately. Is it like, um... Do you guys have, like, a Archibald dies counter and it's like, um... The Krillin-owned counter from Dragon Ball Abridged? Archibald repeatedly got into a sealed-off war zone? How do you get into a war zone that's sealed off? That's... That's sorcery. <laughs> that is... That's very impressive. He's very dedicated. Very carefully. Yeah, oh my goodness. What in the world? <laughs> the, the first time you drew a character from someone, that is how you get a Blurbo. Oh, Albion moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put uh, Lance's nose in. I feel like... Okay. Okay, I knew I was doing something wrong with the planes of the nose there. <laughs> Cloud, oh, I'll leave. Wait, Cloud is here. Cloud is here. Hey, are you right handed? Perish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> I love Elvion, but actually, welcome. Welcome. I just had to keep my promise. Oh, gee, Daisy, you're left handed too? Yeah, I am left handed. <gasps> are you left handed too? Pudo. No, it's red as olive. <laughs> Wait, am I am I reading olive wrong? Is your name is your name olive? Albion makes me big sad, and I love them. Oh, you're breaking up for me. <laughs> Archibald will find Albion someday. He gets into every situation he's not supposed to. Oh, uh, oh, I'll leave olive. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> Uh, internet said, said digital bullying. I think I've got it. Wait, are you typing like with your accent? Are you are you typing with your accent? Archibald is gonna have a real fun time doing that. Tbh. Oh God, can't wait for uh, Merdan to get a bunch of Shide looking for Albion at his place. Oh God, this sounds like it'll be delightful. Okay, so he's just like sort of happy in that sketch. Let me look at these refs. Text-to-speech? <laughs> I refreshed. 
Obi-Wan is in hiding current error digital bullying with the most American English accent ever. Then Daisy read it exactly how I imagined. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Touch this. I should get a text to speech redeem. I should do that. I thought about it. I have like voice things that I want to add. Oh my goodness, no one has set it off, but I made something special for the hydrate if you all manage to drown me. If you all work together, there's a special treat <laughs> with the drown. Um, I want to also figure out, I'll probably add like some of those VTuber things, um, like the Ara Aras and whatnot, um, as like dono things. <laughs> Archibald literally has a hit out on his ass from two angry librarians that are tasked with retaining all the knowledge he collects, then promptly loses it when he dies. Amazing. Oh, can I still force you to cute voice? Yeah, the redeem still exists. Um, oh my goodness. So yeah. Ah, here's a hydrate for Cloud Fluff. Cloud has decided to start it. Here's a hydrate for Satin K. The question is, do we have one more? Do we have one more? Because if you take your time, then it won't happen. Ah, oh, Scarlet! Scarlet out here cheering a hundred bits. Oh my goodness, you're so nice. What the heck? What the heck, Scarlet? I have 16 channel points. Well, maybe you should come to stream and get your 16 channel points. Oh god. Oh god. Here's a hydrate for Scarlet. There we go. <laughs> Spent all my points in the bone zone. Yeah, well, that's what you get. You went to the bone zone, and now you can't afford uh, to make me hydrate. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Needed the extra stars uh, from the bits to hydrate you. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, unfortunately, um, for the hydrate thing to drown me, you guys do have to do it quickly enough. That I think that's like you have to redeem at least three within 30 seconds of each other. Um, and that will trigger it. <laughs> but yeah, I just ended up making hydrate more expensive since you guys kept drowning me. <laughs> I went from drinking like two thirds the amount of water I need to uh, drink every like day in just two hours on stream to drinking like a normal amount. But I was also bit out of bits for months so and need to toss some at you. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will accept this. I'm not going to turn it down. <laughs> oh God. Why do you see me, Sadie? Why? What is the... Oh, does that match? Oh god, it's Crowsign. Daisy, we were just keep trying to keep you healthy and hydrated. Yeah, but I was drinking way too much water. <laughs> you cannot leave. Okay, so I have a dumb question. Um, If I did, like, text-to-speech, or not text-to-speech, but if I did, like, those VTuber, like, Ara Ara redeems and whatnot. Would y'all prefer I did them through bits or through Ko-Fi? Because Ko-Fi has nice alerts and doesn't take a percentage, but it's less convenient. <laughs> it's fine to drink a lot of water if you go to the bathroom. Yeah, but if I'm off running to the bathroom, uh, then I'm not streaming. <laughs> you guys will just be like listening to a perfectly quiet stream. Up to you personally, eh, personally? Fair enough. I just figured I'd ask. I don't know exactly what the forehead marking is on uh, Lancelot. <laughs> Bathroom stream. <laughs> what? No, goodness. You guys are incredibly cursed. And I say this as affectionately as I can. I mean, if Kofi doesn't take a percent, then that's probably worth it. Flush Daisy down the toilet, redeem. <laughs> what the hell? The markings are because they're linked as Summoner and Eidolon. <laughs> Same with Summoners. <laughs> Okay, so you have the same mark. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do then? Can I still shrimp you? Uh, I don't think shrimp exists because it's just a pain in the butt, um, to get, like, the other model out, because I have to boot up an entirely different program to, uh, become shrimped. <laughs> I could start another, like, uh, channel points challenge in the future. And, uh, like, 
But you guys work towards shrimping me again. Become shrimp! <laughs> yeah, it's just the fact that it's a PNG tuber and not a 3D model that makes it hard to do. There we go. Make the shrimp 3D so it can work on the same program. Yeah, but then I have to like learn how to do it. Need a toggle popcorn bu bu bucket. Oh god. Oh god, the popcorn bucket. I'll write that down also. Oh my goodness. Popcorn bucket. There's so many. That was fun because it was a thing that I did. <laughs> but yeah, I have to... I'd have to get the... I'd have to figure out how to model and rig a VTuber to make the shrimp 3D. <laughs> or I'd have to get a lot of money to commission it. <laughs> I can make you a shrimp in 3D? Oh god. I'm terrified. I also just don't want to, like, ask you to make, like, a model for me. <laughs> I'm just, like, hesitant to, like, use models that aren't. VTuber trade. Look, if you can make a $250 worth shrimp model, <laughs> then you could sell me on it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I think I want to... I'm gonna just rotate the jaw a little bit. But daisy san was adorable in the popcorn bucket. Also more things to use points on so you drown less. <laughs> I mean, you guys have all of Bone Zone that you can use points on. You have all of Bone Zone. <laughs> also, holy crap, I just realized it's two o'clock and I haven't run intermission yet. I am a fool. Oh my goodness. Okay, I opened up the jaw there, and I don't think I like how that looks. I'm just going to slide this over then. So, we're going to go, and I'm going to very quickly put this over here, put this over here, uh, adjust that. There we go. <laughs> hey, aren't I the fool? We can both be fools. Sadly, I must go. I must prepare for the day. That's totally fine. Have a good rest of your day, Star Dragon. And it's also probably good timing for me to- No, that's the wrong one! I'm a fool. Two fools. Bye, Star Dragon! So, I'm going to run a really quick intermission. <gasps> I will be leaving too. Gotta pick Lambeth up. Yeah, have a good time with Lambeth. Be safe and have fun. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, we got uh, little gold stars everywhere. <laughs> All right, it is now intermission time. So I'm going to run a three minute break. So if you need to hydrate or take your meds or get a snack, drink some water, go to the bathroom, all that good self-care stuff that you need to do to maintain your mortal form, now will be the time to do it. I'm going to run a really quick ad break for three minutes. Uh, that way it disables pre-roll for people coming into the second half of stream. And when we come back, we'll continue on the sketch for Sadie. So yeah, see you all in three minutes.
Alrighty then. Whoosh, that's the wrong one. I'm just bad at clicking the right thing today. <laughs> so, so, so welcome back everyone. I hope everyone is nice and rested and hydrated and has taken their meds and all that fun, good stuff. So we are going to hop back in. What the? Oh, the neighbors are backing out. Sorry, I saw peripheral motion like out the window. There's a window off to this side. And I was like, huh? What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, so I, I like, I had to go check on what it was. So with that, let's hop on back in to drawing. Okie dokie then. It would help if I put my freaking stylus over here. Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, since everybody's been having a good time talking about D&D, &D, I want to like kind of summarize my last D&D &D session because we ran our first four hour session in a while and a whole bunch of crap happened. The party started like their uh, like I guess sort of their like main uh, their main, like, fight right now? Or we're in, like, a, a real big encounter at the moment. <laughs> um, <s> ah! <laughs> Thank you so much for the save, Redeem Scarlet! And let's get that save off. Alright, saving is done. There we go. <laughs> so, last session, um, the party started um well we start we had a hot start because i left off on a cliffhanger um the party was drowning <laughs> uh not not all of the party to be clear session time yeah yeah i'm gonna like recap that uh session um so we started off with barley uh buttonwood and adarashi drowning <laughs> Um, because they failed their reflex saves, uh, to stay on the damn, uh, Red Falcon, which is, uh, Bees's, uh, sister's ship. So, good times. So we had a hot start there. Um, and then once the party got, um, got Adarashi and Barley out of the ocean, Kay made, um, clever use of, um... The spell Unseen Servant. Um, so yeah, and he actually used Unseen Servant to guide uh, Rope out to the players to like rescue them. So that's a good old time. Also, we got to have the lovely experience of uh, Bees yelling down to his husband, You're a... You're a bard! Use your magic, idiot! <laughs> and Barley, when it came to, uh, to his turn, he was like, Okay, instead of drowning save, I'm going to cast <laughs> water breathing. Um, and it's a good thing we checked the targets on it, uh, because it was up to five creatures, which it can include oneself. So Barley also cast it on Adarashi. This is important for later, because water breathing lasts one hour. <laughs> um... So, there was that, and then the party managed to basically heave them out, and somehow the party's rogue just, like, rolled a natural 20 on, like, the athletics check to hurl or heave the party back up. Um, so they eventually got those two back up, and then, um, they helped him out with securing, uh, Opal's ship. Uh, so Opal was like, okay... Uh, so we're not going to be able to, like, keep the damn ship, uh, in, like, there's no way we're gonna, like, lower the, like, take the sails off, because that's what you would actually do in a storm. Catch me doing way too much research, um, <laughs> for this stuff. Um, so basically, Opa was like, okay, we need someone to climb the rigging and check the sails and make sure, like, they're furled tightly against, like, the main, like, support beam of the mast. Um, they had to... The forward anchor was already dropped, um, the one at the bow, and then they also needed to drop the stern anchor, 
And then they also needed to just run around tying stuff down uh, below decks. <laughs> just to make sure supplies didn't, like, totally soar everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, we had... Kay was going to go drop the anchor, which is really funny because he's, like... He's a tiny little itty bitty orc. He's like, he's he's so weak. Uh, and then Adarashi start went to go do it. So Kay was like, "All right, I'm just gonna go check the other anchor and make sure it's like knotted safely and check on it and everything." Um. Oh, I don't like that. Oh God, I'm gonna be living in Tangent City if I don't do this correctly. Oh, this piece is gonna. I'm going to be in absolute tangent city if I don't do it right. <laughs> Alright. We've got... I might have to go and, like, secure that freaking branches brush. It looks so good so far, though. Oh my goodness. Once again, we had someone pull up, like, outside. I love how they look at your style. Ah, I'm so glad you like it. I might also have to go get, like, a branches brush uh, for this. So these these sketches are going to be these are going to look a little bit for like until I get some brushes in there to get it correct because I'm just drawing like little blobs in there. Um okay, so where did I leave off? Alright, so Kay went to go drop the other anchor. I can find a link to the one I'd use if you'd like. If you have it, that would be super awesome. It would save me searching, but also you don't have to. Um what should we call it? Okay, so Adarashi, our beloved party monk, uh, who is a bit of a fool and doesn't know anything about boats. Let's like let's be clear. No one in the party knows anything about boats. Most of the players have not sailed before. K is like the closest thing they have because he grew up in a fishing village and is like, you know, the son of a fisherman. Um So Adarashi goes and drops the uh, stern anchor and he doesn't check whether or not it actually bit against the uh, like bottom of the ocean to make sure, you know, it's actually holding the damn boat in place. <laughs> so we get to have the lovely experience later after the party's finished checking up on things of Obel being like, hey, did you make sure the anchor bit so the boat doesn't actually like blow away? <laughs> Uh, in the storm or get washed away and Adarashi's like huh no you just told me to drop the anchor <laughs> so we had the whole entire party have to run over there and fix that that was delightful um also other thing that if I'm feeling insanely ambitious and I feel like drawing a fourth piece from the session is um Shiro and bees I believe yeah Chiro and Bees work together to, like, climb the rigging and check on the masts, which is really cool because they're, like, the most dexterous party members. So they're, um, they were, like, balancing on top of the mast in the storm, uh, checking on the rigging and whatnot, on the sails. <laughs> so yeah, Mr. Shompy, hello Daisy the spooky but cutie. Ah, thanks. I am indeed spooky. I used to actually not like being called cute. Fun fact, I was just because I was it was like when I was young, it was like very much like ye ye young, like high school years and whatnot. Um, I just did not like being called cute, I just wanted so desperately to be cool. I'm so glad I've like grown out of that phase. <laughs> I'm fine, just a bit exhausting and coping with the last shitty days. Aw, I'm so sorry that you've had shitty days the past few days. Hopefully, uh, stream cheers you up. We're just hanging out and I'm working on some art for, uh, Saturn K and Bug House. So, hell yeah. Alright, let's get a mark off where more plant is going. Because even if I'm just going to go in and use a brush and just make this a little bit more painterly so I don't have to, like, draw things in as much detail. God. I would love to draw Lance, like, properly in my detailed style, but that would actually fully take me, like, 20 years <laughs> to get done. Yeah, I love job appointment and not being able to, uh, not being taking 
into not taking account uh, anxiety chaos. Yeah, that's oof. That's gotta be absolutely anxiety inducing. <laughs> Pro tip. You don't have to be anxious for a job if you're just stubborn and freelance everything. But we're fine. Yay! That's very good to hear. That is always good to hear that you are fine. Alright, let's just put... I'm just marked down that I'm putting more fluff here. Also, Sadie, we love the um, casually placed <laughs> uh, freaking foliage. <laughs> I'm still gonna like indicate where um, the muscles are so that maybe I can work that into how I use the brush. Maybe one day I can throw your a calm your way solely on him. Yeah, I had to make it tasteful. <laughs> but the thing is, okay, by covering it, you've implied that there's something there. It's like how Smokey the Bear wears pants, you know? Nobody would question Smokey the Bear if you didn't have pants. Um... They'd be like, yeah, whatever, it's a bear, you know? But the fact that they gave him pants. <laughs> oh, but anxiety st was other stuff, aka social anxiety, falling into questioning stuff. It was a really weird time. Eh, you know, you take your time questioning your stuff. Word of God coming in, there's nothing there. <laughs> Calpec, just like, I have to stop this. I have to stop this madness. <laughs> She day are explicitly non uh sexual. Fair enough. I will respect this. I will respect this. But he's not she day anymore. That <laughs> Sadie <laughs> Sadie, you're not helping. <laughs> you're not helping for your character. <laughs> I'm just gonna like draw the body in. <coughs> oh my god, I got crumbs in my throat from Oreos. I'm digging my own grave, I'm perfectly aware. Hence the joke of holding hands being scandalous. Fair enough. Oh my goodness, I had a single bite of Oreo before I came back from uh, intermission, and now I'm just like, I regret. I regret it all. Alright, put this here. I don't want that to tangent with the fabric. <laughs> In the back. Okay, and he's just got a sort of like a little blob. Little little blobs for Tootsies. <laughs> I found the brushes! Yay! Sent your link uh sent the link your way over DM. Yay! Thanks so much, Sadie! Now I too shall not have to suffer in the hell of drawing uh branches. <laughs> so many branches. Like I would I think I would consider doing a painted commission, like a uh, like a painted rendered piece of uh, Lancelot before I would consider doing a lined one, um, because it would just be easier to paint all of the bark details in. Yeah, you know, a thing starting with, uh, yes, but binge watched uh, Yuri that felt the main character is me. It's like, is this character a fae? Uh, I think the Shide are pretty close to fae, so... Sort of, kind of? Uh, Calmac would be your best answer on that, since he's the DM uh, for that session. Or for that campaign, Bug House. <laughs> Yo! Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna turn this theme, or this music up a little bit. Oh, this cool rock. No, I want to listen to another uh, song. Um, So this song that I'm gonna turn up. Homebrew World's Equivalent, yeah. Okay, so they are fey. Uh, This particular song is actually an unused theme that Spy wrote that is meant to be Keen's theme. This is before he became a good guy, so I'm gonna play this song. Tyrannog is the equivalent of the Feywild in other realms. Yo, nice! Also, sorry, I'm just letting the tune play.
I'm sorry, it's just time to bop. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There we go. I just wanted to, like, since Shuffle played one of the other Bleak Dawn songs that, that Spy wrote, I wanted to just, like, be like, hey, listen to Keen's theme. <laughs> In my homebrew stuff, I called it uh, Eelshide, and Tiranog is only a part of it. Every song I've heard that Spy's made is so freaking good. I know! Ugh. I don't know if he's posted them anywhere, but he's made a couple songs for Kasai so far, and I love them so much. Um, there's a theme of red, uh, there's a theme for the red tusk that is essentially, like, um, like, it descends into rock, like, it has electric guitar in it, but, um, I think it's, like, it's, like, the Japanese loot equivalent, I think it's, like, a shamisen, he somehow managed, manages to put in a shamisen solo that absolutely shreds, <laughs> and it's so good, I love it so dang much. <laughs> do, do, do. Not me making this drawing wider because I have a problem where I just keep making drawings really wide. Ooh, yeah, phase are totally gender neutral, but sometimes, um, according to my fave, hey, uh, leans to gender sometimes, even if norms are bleh. Yeah! Fae creatures are big gender. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I wish I could remember what the hell it was that I was looking at, uh, the other day. That I was like, holy crap, that's so much gender. Oh my goodness. It was a thing that I looked at. Oh, we watched- those wings are gorgeous? Oh my goodness, yeah, they're so freaking detailed, though. <laughs> holy cow. I'm going to suffer when it comes time to draw them. Okay. So I'll go like that. And of course, I'm gonna have to draw them, like, flowing everywhere. I'll just indicate that this exists. See, now I don't feel too bad, like, just sketching them in pretty lazily. Uh, and, like, having to clean up the other sketches, because I'm like, okay, there's so much wing here that I just need to, like, lay it out ahead of time. Alrighty then. There we are. Oh my god, am I gonna have to make this win- this freaking canvas bigger? I'm gonna have to make this canvas bigger, Jesus Christ. What is wrong with me? Why am I like this? <laughs> Why am I like this of just having to make the canvas absolutely huge in order to draw wings? <laughs> I say that every time I draw him, <laughs> Lamau. Okay. You know, at least we're saying the same thing. Okay. This is nice. I like this. I wish this wrapped around more. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> there we go. You're saying such a thing, watching a thing, so much gender. Yeah! It's like when you see a thing. Oh, watching a thing, so much gender. Uh, I watched, uh, The Bad Guys recently. And, like, okay, I'll get into, like, my opinions on the movie later. Um, but holy crap. Webs and The Bad Guys, so much gender. I love her. That is- that's ideal gender. <laughs> um, so yeah, that- that's it. She's just the cool little, like, hacker spider character. I think it's really funny, because they're- they did the bit, the joke about taking out extra keyboards to hack better, but she's a spider, so she got to have, like, a billion keyboards. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And then we'll just indicate this, and this- yeah, it's kind of the way I describe myself. Um, we're like he, they, or they, them mood. Or they, they mood. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it kind of comes down to mood for me, too. Um, like, if, I, if I'm if i with other, like, gender non-conforming and queer folks, I'm like, okay, you're allowed to call me gender terms. If I'm with other with people who are not, I'm like, oh, no. Oh no, if they're picking gendered terms, it's because they don't perceive me, uh, how I'd like to be perceived. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we'll just have all of the stuff, all the branches, like, loop back in. This is how I'm indicating this is a vine. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm so glad this is going to be in a sketchy style when it's done. 
<laughs> God damn, this song is like really epic. What the hell? Damn this bops. I hadn't fully listened to through the song. It's not very Halloween-y, but I do like it a bunch. Wow. Okay, let's put these in here. I'm going to... I'm actually going to export this so I can get sort of like thumbnail approval first. Oh god. Oh, oh god, the crow sound <laughs> startled the shit out of me. Um, oh, I need to fit in just a little bit more of the hair. And I also forgot the bark coming in. Would it be possible to tweak his proportions a tiny bit? I have the f feeling that his head is a bit too small or his legs are a bit too big. We can absolutely fiddle with that. I do see how the legs can definitely be too big. Let me get these in really quick. Um, just so I don't forget about them. I was actually just about to, like, export it and send it to you for approval. Um... Okay, I'm gonna check the head being too small first, because this is a chronic problem that I sometimes have of drawing heads too small. So we'll just try that first. Let me cut and paste onto a new layer. Put his head on a new layer, that way. Oh, that's too big. That does look better bigger. Um, yeah, I totally identify, like, flutish, but also connected to nature. And things that are close to Fey vibes and just lacking the androgyny. Uh, draw, drawing at it? Apologies, I'm not quite picking up on that, Shampi. Oh, let me. Hmm, okay. Here's, here's with a slightly bigger head. Um, uh, okay, digging uh, stuff. I think the bigger head is good. The legs might still be pretty long. I feel like the legs are still uh, pretty long. Um, hmm. I definitely like the bigger head. How are we feeling about it, Sadie? I'm gonna have a little bite of Oreo. My brain is dead. Need to eat, I think. Yeah, go eat. Go eat, Shampi. Yeah, the head definitely helped a lot. Uh, legs do feel a bit long still, as you said, though. Okay, let's shrink them legs down. Shrink them bad boys down. Grab these, put them in here, cut and paste onto a new layer. <laughs> Proportion's hard, especially with huge characters. Yeah, I had to make sure I was making really good use of, like, Draper and Keen models. Okay, so aside from the fact that things aren't exactly connected... No, those don't look right like that. What if I just went like that with it. It's that leg! You know what it is? It's this it's this far leg, I think. Cause like, if I cover, if I cover up, oh god, you guys can't see me putting my hand over it. But if I cover up that leg, I'm like, yeah, this closer one looks fine. It's the far one. It is absolutely this far one that is looking very silly. Cause like, once I move it up, I'm like, yeah, okay, that works. I think that's what it was. Hmm, that looks a little bit short now. I don't know. I don't know! I'm just, I'm just sort of going for it. <laughs> I'm fucking around and finding out. Getting a little, another little bite of Oreo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have mint Oreos, and they are so damn good. I love mint Oreos. <laughs> Might need to shorten the thigh of the leg, uh, so we see more of it, so it makes sense. Oh, that makes sense! The thigh is absolutely massively long. I'm a dum-dum. I can't believe I'm just sitting here and leaving the fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> Len is just too big for his own good. No, I see what you're talking about, though. I absolutely see it. Nope, that's moving the mask around. I absolutely freaking lootly see it. 
I think the thigh was indeed just too short. Yeah, because I just moved it up with like the liquify tool and I'm like, oh my god, that's so much better. I don't like how this leg is pointed now though. I don't like how that foot is pointed. I'm glad you see it because I was worried it was being nitpicky. No, it's valid. I would like my art to be good. <laughs> and also you're the you're the freaking client. You're allowed to be a little picky. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are we feeling about those proportions? How are we feeling about them? It would help if I moved my hand off of the damn canvas on stream. <laughs> What the hell song are we listening to? I don't know what song we're listening to. Uh, it's 2508. It's a timestamp. We're listening to Mad Monster Mansion from Banjo Kazooie. I love! Okay, cool. I'm going to export this um, and send the sketch to you just so you can take a closer look at it. Um, <laughs> it looks so good, I cry. Ah! Just for like final, final details. <laughs> Export broke stream. Yeah, it like froze it for a second. I saw. I was like, "What the hell?" Never mind. We're good. Okay, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad that we're good. All right, let me set this back to Sadie. Um. I'm just gonna pin that so I don't miss it. We might have a little bit of a latency drop while I send this over to Sadie. Also for the wood brush, I think it's the spooky one I use if you use those. I don't know. I know I have some wood brushes. Oh, are there like multiple brushes in the pack? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, sweet. Uh, so I'm gonna mark this down and I'm gonna look quickly at my to-do list and be like, okay, what else? Let's see what else we have to do. Ah, you love it! Yay! Is that the official seal of approval? <laughs> oh my goodness, all the little emotes. Ah! Ah! Alright, so I've sketched that. Start of the shotgun and buckler. Um, I did watch a Twitch stream. I need to work on seal of approval. Yay! I can check that off my to-do list. I could do silhouette sketches for Steel Sergeant, uh, but those require me using my brain a little bit and looking at the references. So I think we're gonna keep working on the Patreon sketch or the Patreon commission for uh, next for this month, for like the last like 30 minutes or so of stream. So let's hop over there. Um, let's go here. And boom. It's time to keep on shading. <laughs> Because part of why I want to get this done is, um, whatchamacallit, I haven't actually officially written it down in my to-do list yet, so I've just kind of been doing it whenever I have time lately, which is a good sign that I've been doing it whenever I have time, but still. Uh, stream feels like it's gone so quickly today. It does. It really, really does. Like, the first hour went by, like, so insanely fast. I think... Okay, I'm working on chipping away at the shading on this. Okay, pick color from layer, grab this one, and then grab the G pen. Okay, so we're just working on here. It was hectic, which is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes I like having a chill stream, but like hectic streams are not bad either. I'm just happy that people were here. It was, it was wild because I think for the first time I, re I experienced not really being able to keep up with chat very well. Like I know for a fact that there are messages that I missed and that's going to haunt me for the next 20 years of my life. I'll be like, oh my god, I missed those messages. I hope they don't hate me now. <laughs> um, but you know what? Whatever. That just happens with uh, streaming. Like if you have more people in chat. You get to meet my friend Star Dragon, so I'm happy now. Yeah! 
Yeah, I'm so happy I got to meet Star Dragon. I I went and I lurked in their stream a little bit um, the other day when I saw that they were streaming. I'm like, I'm very bad at like sh like reaching out. <laughs> Whenever I pop into a new stream, I'm just like, okay, I have to just vibe. I don't want to set off an alert. I just want to like observe first. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't as wild as yesterday's bonus stream, but it was really good. Oh my goodness, yesterday's bonus stream was bonkers. Oh my goodness, that was like t a totally scuffed mess, but it was great. <laughs> Actually visited her IRL for a week recently, she's really cool. Ah, that's awesome. That is so dang cool to hear. It's always a delight to know that people whom you meet on the internet are also cool people in real life. <laughs> It's just always a relief. So you're not like... It's like the thing of like, oh, you know, the the never meet your heroes thing. It's like the opposite of that, to know when you meet someone that they're cool. <laughs> I was all alone for an entire week. I'm sure you were fine. You got to scheme like so much for D&D. &D. <laughs> Unless you just didn't have anyone to taunt about your prep. <laughs> okay. Here's this. I want to get... Yeah, there we go. I have to actually think about, like, this shading because this is how I'm defining most of the, like, depth on this, uh, piece. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's ever, like, a period of time that, like, I didn't- I wasn't able to, like, hang out with Spy. Or at least, like, talk to him, like, all the time. I don't know. Never meet your heroes is a good rule of thumb, but also, like, don't idolize people because they're just, like, people. Yeah. Exactly that. Exactly that. Oh my goodness. I will fully admit, I actually ran into that a little bit. Um, like, every time I talk to Sig and I see Sig's art, I'm like, oh my god, it's so good and amazing and cool. Uh, cause the point, like, when I found Sigdom's art, I was having, like, an art style crisis. And it was, like, insanely reassuring to me to see an artist who did cell shading and did, like, D&D &D art. Um, cause I also just generally didn't see, like, cell shaded D&D &D art. And then also had a painterly style, so I was like, <gasps> yay! And, like, I still look up to Sigdom's art, like, quite a bit. <laughs> but now I'm just like... Oh, I just actually am, like, a, a friend of Sigdom now. What? Huh? Like, I'm still- I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> it's a little surreal, um, to, like, know. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, whoosh. I gotta get better at it. Like, I think I would still die a little bit. Internally and externally if I met, uh, Yoji Shinkawa <laughs> or something like that. Like, one of my other, like, artist heroes. I completely understand that kind of feeling, TBH. Yeah. I've said it before on stream. I'm like, I don't know how to make, like, I'm like, how do I make friends with people normally? And it's like, just go talk to them. I'm like, that's really hard. Do they have a blurbo I can draw instead and just, like, send to them and be like, Hi, I think you're cool, so I made you some art. And then leave. <laughs> It's, uh, me drawing, like, fan art for someone, uh, is, like, the equivalent of, like, a mouse bringing, uh, or a cat bringing, like, a mouse to people. <laughs> Relatable. Talking to people is illegal. Exactly. How else am I supposed to figure anything out? I'm just supposed to suffer and be like, how? How do I make the new friends? <laughs> Speaking of things that I have no clue how to do, um, but I want to figure it out because I'm like, I have the problem where I don't like doing anything, like, half measured. Um, so, like, the fact that I stream is, like, I put a whole lot of work into streaming because I want my stream to be real good. And I'm sitting here, I'm at the phase of getting better at streaming where it's, like, I need to just do it a lot and I'm like, how do I be funny on the internet? And that is just a thing that it's like, you can't look that up. You just kind of have to figure it out. <laughs> like, I'm extra super shy, so I appreciate that you've been super good at good at hanging out with and such. Yay! That is really cool. Also, I never would have thought you were shy. 
Like seriously. <laughs> I cannot believe that. But you know what? I mean, I can. <laughs> Most people are accidental funny men on the internet. That's fair. That's fair. I'm just like, how do I be an internet funny man? I would like people to think I'm funny. But most of my jokes, like, most of my humor comes from misinterpreting things. <laughs> like me! Yay! Accidental internet funny man. Do 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 do. Most of my humor is, like, situational comedy in real life because I've committed to a bit. Uh, which doesn't always translate over the internet. Um... Because I, like, I gesticulate widely. Like, part of why I have hand tracking is so I can go absolutely apeshit and be like, okay, have you heard of this thing that I'm going off about right now? <laughs> but, like, also the hand tracking doesn't, like, it doesn't get everything else across. Because, you know, I don't have, like, state-of-the-art freaking model stuff. And the hand tracking only does so much. Like, it's, it's not good at picking up pointing. Uh, all the time. It's so, like, it's okay here, but then it thinks I have two fingers out sometimes. And I'm like, wild. So yeah, I don't know. There's just streaming stuff that I've been, like, trying to figure out. Like, how do I improve it? Because a lot of, like, improving my stream early on is like, okay, take people's suggestions for redeems, fix, like, commands that are broken, all that sort of stuff. Do, 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 do. But now I'm like, oh no, stream mostly works. <laughs> I never know what to talk about when I stream. Okay, so, actually, straight up, I write notes. I write notes for stream. I actually made myself a streaming template that I fill out every stream. Because streaming's sort of like podcasting, so you can, like, follow podcasting tips for streaming. Probably, uh... Oh no, trust me, every time I talked in the beginning, I died every time because overthinking is the only thing I can do. Probably doesn't help that I go for like five to eight hours at a time. I should do that, TBH. Um, Giggles, your feather quill is sometimes looking like it would tickle your nose. It's fine. It's fine. It's in front of me. It's far, far away from my nose. Um, I mean, if you guys want, I have it as a Google Doc and can be like, here's the template I made for myself for streaming and you can like modify it or use it however you want. Um, but I literally, like, I have a thing, it's like, before my stream, I will, and then, in my case, I filled out, like, run an ad to disable pre-roll for new viewers. Um, good, but no feather up the nose. But actually, though, could you really? I will write it down to do that. I've been thinking about just posting it in Drop Zone, so I might just post it in Drop Zone in, like, the Moonlight Market or something, even though it's a freebie. Post stream template. And then I'll just, like, ping you two. That way anybody who wants it has it. <laughs> um, because otherwise I'm going to just have an open mouth when I stream. <laughs> That's fair. The other thing that I've been doing to, like, sort of practice, and this is something that, like, a, like, Twitch help YouTube channel, uh, recommended. Um, like, not to me specifically, but, like, a tip in their videos. It's, they, like, super emphasized it is... Just go on a can- just, like, record yourself every day for 10 minutes, and then, like, the next day watch back your recording, and then do another 10 minute recording. Like, I haven't been recording every single day. I've been doing, like, four days a week when Spy is out for class, because I just feel weird about recording myself and talking into a camera with other people there. But I have noticed it's made me, like, better at talking on stream and not, like, changing topics with absolutely no segue and i'm like okay i can comfortably fill 10 minutes of air by myself with no chat so that's sort of like the goal um you're the best no no you're the best you're cool you're cool and you're here on stream and making me not fill uh air by myself which is really cool and also you here and rad and oh my god it's 246 already what the hell oh my goodness i guess we're gonna have to start thinking about uh rating and whatnot something i've been doing too is having other people on stream with me so i have people to uh work off of with like talking points that is fair other voices has helped a bit yeah i like doing it um 
the hard thing with having other people on stream, and it's like why I don't hop in, hop on Discord all the time for these streams, is that if people are in chat, um, it's hard to like pay attention to chat unless you have like other mods around. And most, like, the only mods I have is myself and Casino. So, like, I'm modding while I stream, and Casino is around to, like, keep an eye out if I need to, if I need to do anything, and, like, let me know if any they noticed anything broke while I was streaming. <laughs> so, yeah. I do like streaming with others. I can definitely see how that would be a concern, yeah. Because part of it is, like, people come to your channel to watch you and for you to entertain them. So, like, unless you have really good, like, energy with your friends, like, you're watching, they're watching essentially, like, a live Game Grumps episode or a live Drawfee episode for, like, an example of group comedy that works. <laughs> oh, hello! Speaking of Casino. The redeem the alert didn't play, but I see there is the Sheet Ghost toggle. So we'll do that then. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So it's like they're coming to watch you and part of the fun of streaming is that like in a smaller channel you can be acknowledged and oh my god it froze my damn model. Oh no. Uh, Kel's assets, mine, Halloween, sheet. There we go. I added the sheet to it. <laughs> okay. I hope you all are ready for the best damn Halloween costume in existence. <laughs> Behold, I'm now a sheet ghost. Turn the smoothing off, and I'm gonna crank the distance from the avatar up so that it sells him. There we go! This is perfect! <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I can go over here. Um, that's done. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, there's just a different instance when there's a small streamer versus a big streamer. Yeah. <laughs> They're still good, just different. Exactly. Exactly. Try drawing uh, with a ghost sheet over your eyes. Uh, well, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Lurk, need to yum yum. Yeah, have a good meal, Shompy. Uh, lol, I love that your skull is outside of the sheet. It just does that sometimes. <laughs> I think it's because it's like attached to my hair and sometimes the hair goes forward. I don't know exactly. <laughs> oh well. This is just how it goes. Do 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 do. Okay, so I think this hair is the hair that's in front here. So I gotta wrap this around. I'm kind of just gonna be working my way through this hair slowly but surely, as I spend way too much freaking time shading it. <laughs> okay, and this wraps around over here like that. But we'll cast a shadow there. Oh my goodness. Oh god, it's save time. Oh god, it's save time. Okay. File. Save. Mark that off as dumb. Oh god, it's clown nose time. Oh god, we're getting some madness in right at the end of stream, of course. You all cannot be stopped from committing madness. There we go. Oh god. Distance to avatar. Oh, okay then. Wait. How do I make it so it's on top enough? Okay, well, it's just going to have to move around a lot to be in front all the time. <laughs> oh well, I guess this is my life. I just have... I have a telepathic clown nose today. This is what we're doing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, mark that as done. All right, let's see if I can get a teensy bit more shading done. And actually, I need to take a peek and see who the hell is live from my list. Who is live? Tell me. Although I guess I could just hit like the raid button and see. Uh, Paper Cuts is live. Uh, is, is Moonline live? I don't know. I'm just checking that. No, don't show my thing. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna fight this. 
Okay, well, Paper Cuts is live, so I think maybe we'll raid Paper Cuts, unless people are in the mood for Shipochi. Nobody knows! <laughs> I'm just thinking ahead of time, so I can decide. But also, you guys are pl free to have opinions. Do, 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 do. Oh god! Oh god, it's ghostly breath time! There's so many! <laughs> Do, 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 do. I also really have to pee. I might, <laughs> I might just do the raid now, <laughs> cause I have to pee. Ah! Scarlet, why? Why do you have to spook me, Scarlet? The dogs are going ape shit too. Holy cow! <laughs> I think it might actually be time to wrap up the stream. Then you know what? We got more progress done on this freaking hair and I'm happy about that so I'm gonna save this <laughs> also spook the dogs it seems yeah it does seem like that I don't know what the hell they're barking, barking at someone probably just is walking their freaking dog outside and that's just what it is <laughs> um okay then so thank you so dang much everyone for coming to the stream it was very, very good to have you all here and hanging out. It was very, very fun. Uh, what else do I need to do? Uh, if you were hanging out and lurking and you're having a good time, consider following. We're working towards that, uh, serial redeem. I'm just doing the part of the stream where I gotta plug myself. That's how it goes. It's the part where I plug things. Uh, if you want to support me, I have a bunch of places you can do that. Or you can just, like, follow me places, too. Um, it was a lot of fun watching. Yeah, it was fun to have you here, Sadie. Also, I had a lot of fun sketching for you. So, yay. Ooh, wow. Um, the next stream's date will be upon this Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is going to be the Spooky Game stream. We're going to be celebrating hitting 125 followers. Um, I will say the first indie game that I'm going to be playing on the stream, I will give a trigger warning for uh, meat, blood, uh, cancer is a narrative story point, and some family trauma, I believe, is a narrative story point. But it is a short game. Uh, so, you know, if you notice that I have, like, changed games partway through the stream, uh, then that part will be over. Because I have two indie spooky games in mind, since the first one is quite so short. So yeah, I'll see you all at 1pm Eastern Standard Time for that. And if you want to get pinged for it, I have a Discord server! Look at me remembering to plug my shit! Hell yeah! But, with that, we are going to do a raid on Paper Cuts Arts. So, make sure you are being uh, cool. No, that's not the command. <laughs> that's not the command at all. So go ahead and grab the Daisy Raid. Uh, Paper Cuts is doing some cool art. It looks like they might actually be animating right now. So be super responsible and cool and have fun over in Paper Cuts stream, everyone. Alrighty then. Bye bye